What do you think of when the phrase electric vehicle is mentioned? Tesla and its popular roadster maybe? Well, there's a massive industry coming to grips with renewable energy globally. And while Africa is making some important strides, the continent still lags behind the rest of the world. Interestingly, some African startups and entrepreneurs are taking the bull by the horn. Companies like Jet and Hyundai have made their presence felt with some exciting provisions. There's one we like to talk about. Dolulokwe Williams is a legal practitioner who loves tech, toys, biking and traveling. And in the late 2000s, he took several trips to Asia. On these trips, Tolu visited several trade fairs and a trend caught his attention. He saw several innovation and awesome looking technologies based on clean energy. So naturally, Tolu decided to purchase an electric bike which he brought back home with him to Nigeria. Did I mention he loves biking? For context, Nigerian roads are notoriously ridden with potholes, even in its most popular cities. Vehicles can easily get faults and lives are lost on a daily basis. The country also has a history of epileptic power supply. So now you're probably thinking, who buys an electric bike in Asia with better roads and relatively stable power and brings it to Nigeria? Well, it takes someone as passionate about clean and awesome looking technology as Tolu. Predictably, Tolu faced the same issues only people familiar with the Nigerian market could relate to. The vehicle suspension wasn't great since the product was made for European and Asian markets with smooth roads. He decided to do something about it and that decision took him down a rabbit hole and in 2012 that bad Seven Hat Investment Limited, Siltec as it's called, a renewable energy transportation technology company. Wait, I'm getting ahead of myself because the story is just getting started. Being a lawyer by trade, Tolu had no formal engineering training. All he had to go on was his passion for technology. So this all actually started um, as a hobby. It was my passion for an electric bike. I liked the way it was silent. I liked the attention that I got on it. And I thought it's something everybody um, should have. Before long, Tolu was able to fix the suspensions, increase the battery capacity, and improve the motor controllers on the electric bike he bought. Tolu reveals he was proud of the attention and the puzzled glances the bikes gave him whenever he was in transit. This was not surprising. The bike was slick, the engine was not in its regular position, and most importantly, it didn't make a single sound when started. If you're familiar with bikes in the city of Lagos, or any city for that matter, a noiseless bike would definitely grab your attention. That attention got Tolu his first customers. Ezra Olubi, co-founder and CTO of Nigerian fintech startup Paystack, saw him riding in the street and also wanted one for himself. After this, Tolu realized that he could actually make this a business. But passion and creativity alone would not cut it this time though. So after this came a lot of training in order for him to become technically sound. With regards to electric vehicles, I learned on the job, to be honest. Um, when I started on the first one, I realized that the basic um, layout of an electric vehicle is the same, from two-wheelers to three-wheelers to four-wheelers. And the more I delved into the business of looking at the different specifications and um, technologies, the better I got at it. And he had to figure out other things as he slowly began to build his company. But the key to all this is really the suppliers. Um, it's getting the right chain of suppliers and ensuring you have the right warranty for all these kind of um, technologies. Because when you're doing stuff here in Nigeria, it's like the easiest thing to happen is for an electric bike to die and for somebody to say, oh, it's not working, you know. Yeah. So in doing that, we created like a robust um, after-sales service um, and really became very, very technically sound on all the products and actually started improving them and working with suppliers um, over there to create products solely for this market. So now there's a problem. The business idea has come to life, but EV manufacturing is not exactly taught in Nigerian schools or auto assembly or repair shops. How then did Tolu go about hiring talent? Uh, well, we focus on local talent here. Um, people with um, pre-existing knowledge on um, motorbikes or, or combustion engines and all that and we pretty much train them 
on how to assemble um, and how to maintain um, electric vehicles. Basically, we localize um, the adoption of, of EVs from the training to the usage to maintenance and all that. So um, in terms of a team, we have about 10 technical staff, yeah. And then we also have other, um, other people in charge of other areas like um, marketing, um, international partnerships and communications, legal affairs and... Um, with a quality team in place, Siltek is able to design some of his vehicles while it tweaks others by other manufacturers to fit the Nigerian market. Basically, a Siltek electric vehicle cannot be found anywhere, basically, because the specifications, the suspensions, the things that I mentioned, all the options that make them usable within Africa is what is embodied inside um, a Siltek electric vehicle. And it goes a great length to ensure the quality of output. Each and every one of these products have been extremely well thought out and tested um, over quite a period of time in different um, terrains to ensure that it's something that people can use um, every day. But building vehicles at scale for the African market has been difficult. Tolu reveals getting parts of the vehicles has been a bit tricky as everything needs to be bespoke. Surprisingly, Tolu doesn't believe power has been much of an issue as the company uses a battery swapping technology that allows for flexibility. You can charge on an inverter, a small generator, or with your regular power supply. It does not consume a lot of energy. So wherever you go to, just like your mobile phone, when you get to your friend's house, your phone is down. It's like basically as long as you can charge your laptop and your mobile phone, you have access to charging that. You can charge your um, electric vehicle, yeah. So you just take out your battery like a briefcase, you get to your friend's house, you plug it in, plug and play, you charge. So literally every journey you go, you, you made up for it. As long as you have a little bit of access to power, you can always um, top up. Depending on the size of the battery, if you live in Lekki, Lagos, for example, some of the bikes can carry you around your locality. Others can take you from Lekki to Ikeja, a 46 kilometer ride. With two or three swap stations, this bike could actually take you from Lagos to Ibadan, a 131-kilometer ride. We're so good at it that I can say we're probably the church of immobility in Africa. Mm. That's what we like to call ourselves. Yeah, we, yeah, we consult, um, we create our own electric vehicles. Um, there's a combustion engine um, cart there on four wheels that was made in Nigeria. Mm. And so they can either come to the showroom or they can go online to our website okay. to buy our products or you can follow us on in Instagram as well. Um, so we have like a group, we say join the e-team um, mm -hmm. when you join. We have an e-me, e-you uh, theme. So when most people join, you kind of join like a bikers club um, and we meet up at the end of every month. Um, mm -hmm. There's quite a number of us and we kind of ride around and, um, and meet up. So it's like you're joining like an e-community. The company runs distribution centers in Abuja and Portacot, where it has been witnessing high demand. Tolu reveals that the company witnessed the most sales of vehicles in 2020 and 2021 compared to previous years. And he has a theory about this. So we're, we're solely focused on sales and distribution, and our goal is to have 100 distribution outlets across Africa. Okay. Um, so the, this is the showroom, this is the headquarters, but we have different um, other distributors. Like if you go to Mega Plaza, you can see our products. Um, Ebano, you can see our products there. So the plan is to accelerate the sales of, um, of EVs, basically through um, distributors, distributorship. 2020 and 2021 was one of the best years for Siltec. Um, funny enough, during the COVID lockdown, there was a huge increase in demand for our products. This perceived adoption of clean energy in Nigeria is symbolic of a larger global sentiment. Tesla shares added $14 trillion in value at the height of the pandemic. In 2020, the Nigerian government announced a made in Nigeria electric vehicle, the Hyundai Kona. So far, the company has not received any form of funding and it runs mainly on the sales and distribution of its electric vehicles. One thing we do is that we never ever, we don't play with um, quality. Um, so we always reinvest back um, into the business. 
Besides electric vehicle sales, the company also runs consultancy projects for companies looking to delve into clean energy vehicles. Tolu is the head in mobility for Nigerian mobility startup Max.ng and it reveals that an electric scooter prototype gave birth to the Max E Series 1. They've taken the consulting project a step further since then. So we launched our e-security, um, silent patrol systems um, with the security company, which was very, very successful. Um, right now, we're leading consultant for one of the top um, security firms who have um, electric vehicles deployed all around the estates that they are guarding. Um, we're also focused on agriculture as well. So we have utility vehicles that pull um, load as well. Um, we also focused on um, refineries as well. Um, you know, there's a limit to what combustion engines can do in the oil and gas industry. So, and most of these complexes are very, very big. So, personally, the staff, ex expatriates, Nigerians, kind of need um, a mode of transport to get around. So, when we started doing that, we started getting extremely creative, and that kind of molded us into becoming consultants. Um, you know, and so right now we consult for a number of companies um, in their electric vehicle deployments and, um, and we maintain and manage as well. Over the years, Siltec has been able to gather decent followership. By now, where we've reached, um, we're definitely um, a voice of authority in the e-mobility world and um, even across Africa as well. Um, if you do your research, there are a lot of companies, uh, we say they, they talk immobility, they don't walk it. So you can hear, oh, somebody is planning to deploy this two-wheeler or this. But when you actually check it, most of them haven't really done this. They're probably looking for funding to do it. But we've done it the hard way, you know. Um, did it here on the streets of Lagos. And most of the products have come out very, very flush and um, work, work quite well with the markets that we're in. On the average, Siltex bikes cost around 700,000 naira or $1,700. Not the kind of money for the average salary earner in Nigeria. Thankfully, it allows for payment plans for low salary earners. We offer those kind of packages and we also break up um, payment plans to allow these kind of um, low salary earners to be able to afford um, our products. We have um, the option for three months, six months and um, 12 months. We also have much cheaper um, electric vehicles that will be launching that um, very, very low salary earners will be able to afford. Um, so they'll be similar to just mountain bikes with small um, electric motors. Yeah. Tolu embraces anyone working in the e-mobility space and does not treat them as a competitor. He, however, argues that Siltec's years of experience gives it an edge over most players. We don't have competitors because our mission is to accelerate the adoption of um, EVs, right? So we don't look at anybody as a, as a competitor. As long as you're accelerating the adoption of electric vehicles, mm -hmm. pushing for climate change, clean energy technologies, and, the, and more adoption of renewable energy technologies, Siltec is more than happy to work, um, to work with you. Well, I think that there's a lot of wealth and value in the experience that we have technically. Um, you know, um, we do, releasing any product in Nigeria is not an easy one um, because of the different things that we have. And we've already overcome that. So now we just want to sell. We're not testing our products in the markets. You know, our products have been tested and refined over the years. So. In terms of competition, I think it's a big advantage. I think anybody who would want to enter the immobility e market would want to talk to um, Siltec. Siltec is also planning to launch major battery swap stations across the country in the coming months. The pilot will be at Victoria Island before moving to locations like Lekki, GRA and other parts of Lagos. Patolu will launch will serve as a learning template for expansion to other cities in Nigeria. Most exciting, perhaps, is the company's plan to launch Nigeria's very first roadster before the end of the year through its partnership with an Abeokuta-based kart manufacturer, Lights Quad Carts.